Hey gamers, in this video we're going to go over 10 programs to help your PC's gaming performance. But stay tuned to the end because I have a little bonus in store for you hardcore gamers. Stay tuned. If you're thinking about boosting your gaming PC to the next level, it's probably best to think of your PC like you would your body. If you want to get into shape and be your best you, you have to take certain steps in order to get better results. And the first step is to purge things from your diet before you can get your body to do what you want it to do. A typical diet would need a lot of adjusting in order to become sustainable for a quote unquote healthy lifestyle. Burgers, fries, hell even Starbucks green matcha tea with its 200 calories, 29 grams of carbs and 80 milligrams of caffeine surely aren't going to make the cut, but I digress. And sadly, Windows' current diet resembles exactly what you would think of as a typical diet. This system isn't like other operating systems that tend to keep themselves clean. Let's say, for instance, macOS does. Windows is jam-packed full of trash, garbage, and other unhealthy items for its overall diet far beyond its means. And needless to say, these things need to be cleaned out before the system can even think to begin to run a bit smoothly. Even the best gamers out there have trash on their PC, because you know why? It's Windows. It's always leaving debris everywhere it goes. So, to start our countdown off right, we're going to introduce some cleaners to your computer, and I'll just let the results speak for themselves. As a preface, while all these cleaning programs can be useful to your PC, it's important to use them in moderation. Technically could run all of these cleaners on your machine and keep them there, but it might not be the best idea. Think of these as detoxes for your PC versus a breakfast slim fast shake you might drink every morning. This is why I'm going to be linking both the portable versions of these apps as well as the full installers in the description below. This way, if you don't want to have extra clutter on your computer, you don't have to. Also know that while I assume no responsibility for any possible damages that could come about while using these programs, understand that I would never recommend something that I haven't used in the past or am currently using. Your PC is my PC. I care for it. I really do. Starting off our list, we have a very well-rounded app, CCleaner. This program is jam-packed full of tools to get your PC off to a great start. A health checker, custom cleaning options, registry cleaners, and more are all part of this free program's tool belt. It's even got a duplicates finder for finding duplicate photos, videos, and just about any other kind of files on your PC. The only downside it has is that features such as driver updates, performance optimizers, and the software updater are only available on the paid version of the app. But for doing a general tidy up on your computer, this app packs quite a punch. Be sure to like my videos. Next up on our list is the intimidating bleach pit. Its powerful features could keep the most privacy forward users on their toes, but it does so much more than that. This excellent tool features a system scanner that tunes to the apps installed on your PC, understanding hundreds of trash portions of different apps. Its best feature is the preview button. When running this, you get to see exactly what is bogging down your PC and what the overall size of garbage is that is sitting on your computer. This application does need a little bit of direction though. If you want to keep things like your browser's passwords and form fill-in abilities, you'll want to make sure that you go through each of the items in the list thoroughly before hitting the clean button. Third on our list of cleaners is Disk Cleaner. This is a very simple program with easy to understand language and looks. The great thing about Disk Cleaner is once it's started up, it automatically lets you know what parts of the programs are taking up what space. So if you're looking to remove the most space from your computer, you can sort by the size column to remove these trashes first. The only limitation to this particular piece of software is it lacks the depth of many other cleaning programs. This might work in this app's favor, making it easy to navigate for everybody. Our next tool is KCleaner. This app lacks the full customization of many of the aforementioned cleaners, but it definitely makes cleaning a breeze. Featuring an automatic mode button, this app can begin removing all trash from your system immediately. Though if you're a little skeptical of what gets removed, it has a scanning simulate button for those who want to know exactly what's being removed. With this program, it's generally safe to run the automatic mode as none of your browsing history, form filling data, or anything like that is deleted. Only items that clutter your browsers such as cache is removed. The last of our cleaners may not be for everybody. This program works best with HDD or hard disk style drives. Contrarily, many SSDs will never require defragging even if they show fragmentation. 
If you're not sure what kind of hard drive you have in your computer, open the start menu and type defrag. Windows will automatically suggest defragment and optimize drives. Open this app and look at the first item in the list. This is usually your system drive. For some of you, you may see C and for others, you may see D colon or any other drive you set up as your system drive. Under the media type column, if you see hard disk drive, this cleaner is applicable to you. Skip ahead if your drive shows solid state drive. This app comes with a few great options for what they call trimming, just analyzing, or trimming and intelligently optimizing. For those of you that are curious, defragmentation is a process of moving file fragments from the outside of your spinning disk storage closer to the center. This is because when copying or moving data, Windows selects the fastest route to putting data where it can go. Sometimes this happens to be where the reader head, the object that reads the data similar to a record player needle, happens to be. Fragmentation occurs very commonly in Windows devices. Since Windows happens to be using many of the files that may be needing to be defragmented, this cleaner comes with a boot time defrag. This type of defrag means that system files can be moved since they're not in use actively by Windows using them. Great, huh? Another great feature of Smart Defrag is that it has a section for game optimization. So if you add a game like The Sims 4 to the queue, this app will do its best to make sure the system is running smoothly for you to game. Windows has a lot of services, applications, and other items that run to be able to accommodate almost every user's experience. With that, it has a lot of stuff running that might not be necessary while you're busy in just your full screen game window. The apps in this list are just for eliminating those extra items that don't need to be running on your already preoccupied PC. Running multiples of these applications could lead to an unstable gaming experience, and it depends on the user. So it may be necessary to run trial runs with your games to see what gives you the best performance gains. You could also run benchmarks on your system using your favorite apps to see which apps put together give better results. First up is Smart Game Booster version 5.2. Now this may seem a little over specific, but due to the overwhelming amount of quote unquote game boosters out there, this app will give you the exact results you're looking for. With the touch of a button, you'll see the exact gains this program gives your computer. CPU usage, RAM release, GPU clocking, and drivers are all shown after clicking boost. This booster also features a details button, so you'll see exactly what was stopped and or what memory was released. For those of you who are curious, if you're getting better results, there's an HUD option in this app too. One of my favorite features in this program is the Can I Run It tab. In just seconds, you can type the name of a game you want to see if you can run on your PC, click Can I Run It, and see if you meet the minimum requirements or even the recommended requirements for that game. Next up on our list is MZ Game Accelerator. This application is downright powerful, but quite dated. Originally built to speed up Windows 7 operating systems, this program still flexes even on today's versions of Windows. Similar to Game Booster, this app also has a one-click button solution to instantly get you to gaming at your peak. Just click the Switch to Gaming Acceleration mode and you're ready to play your favorite games. While this easy to use program has only one prime objective, it kicks butt in just that one area. The only issue I've ever come across while using this program is freezing if you don't click OK to minimize the window. Sometimes the app has to be forcibly terminated and reran to properly reset any Windows processes. But to me, that's a small matter in comparison to the amazing things this program accomplishes. Last on the list of game optimizers is Wise Game Booster. With its one-click, optimize-all solution, terminate system items, processes, and services that aren't needed while gaming. It also features a slot to add your favorite games to so that you can start your game and Wise Game Booster begins optimization once you start this game up. The only issue I've ever seen with this app is once it starts optimization, it's not always easy to restore these services back to regular order. So if you're needing to de-optimize your computer for gaming, it may be necessary to do a reboot if you can't restore items in a specific tab. Now, we're in the Advanced Users Club. In this list are programs that alter the physical hardware of your machine. So if you're not comfortable with tweaking how your system runs, then feel free to back away slowly here. But if you're up for an adventure, buckle up. First up on this list is SpeedFan, an app dedicated to both showing you hardware temperatures on your graphics and central processing units. Not only this, this application allows you to tweak the fan speeds of your GPU, CPU, and sometimes other onboard fans. 
With plenty of options to customize the way your PC cools down, including an advanced fan controller, you can set how fast a fan spools up at any given temperature. It also features a simple manual adjustment for fan speed percentage on the first tab, making changing fan speeds easier for you. This app comes in handy when you want to view live temperature readings on a given piece of hardware, whether it be your hard drive, GPU, or CPU. The only issue with this program is sometimes it doesn't detect or cannot control all of the available fans on a particular motherboard. This is why our next contender is up next. Our tie for second place is HW Info. While this app doesn't have the most user-friendly interface, it seems to have the ability to control many more fans than speed fans seems to be able to access. Go into the sensors menu and just click the fan icon to reveal the fan control window. Here, you'll most likely be given multiple fan options. Simply grab the extremely small sliders and drag them to their fan speeds you would like and hit the set manual buttons. It takes a few moments for the control to kick in, so bear with it a few seconds. I tend to pair this app with speed fans since the data output is kind of input overload on my eyes. So seeing just what I need to see is useful from SpeedFan. Last on our list is MSI Afterburner. I originally saw this app and thought it wasn't very intuitive until I managed to use the settings the first time, and then it clicked really well. Afterburner's strong points are being able to adjust voltages of your CPU if you have an overclockable CPU, locking up your GPU, and adjusting fan speeds and setting temperature limits. There's a neat little save button in the middle that you can use to save particular settings into one of the five slots on the right. Another great thing about this app is you can apply the settings you want at startup by clicking the Windows button next to the Minimize button. If you made it this far, then you know there's actually an 11th item. We'll call this the Intel Register Trademark Extreme Tuning Utility XTU. Sadly, this machine I'm currently using doesn't have a K-type Intel processor, so I won't be able to provide much information. Though, I've used this utility on my former Dell Precision 7710, so I know it has quite an effect on many processors while squeezing out extra power. Heck, even though I was using an i7-6820HQ processor, it still managed to overclock the CPU. This is probably the best tuning utility, as changes do not need to be made in the BIOS, which is great for anyone who is less technical with their system. Pair this tuning utility with SpeedFan if it reads your CPU cooling fans or HW Info to get live readings of your CPU's temperatures so you know where to limit the extra voltage. Once I get a machine or a processor with overclockability, I'll give you guys a look at it. Until then, watch this video here on how to overclock your K and HQ style Intel processors. And there you have it. 10 programs that will absolutely increase your gaming performance. And I wouldn't recommend these if I hadn't used them myself. Let me know your experience with running these programs in the comments below. I want to know what kind of gains you pulled out of your PC, whether it's dirt cheap or top of the line. Thanks for watching.